guys <laughs> if you've been watching me for a while you know i, I always say I, you know i don't like being conspiratorial by default you gotta get me there right but the things that i'm seeing and the things i'm hearing that are coming out of joe biden's mouth are really getting me there because it has become very very obvious that either this man has some type of i don't know brain disease or some type of mental illness or disorder or that he is just slipping up and letting the truth come out of his mouth on accident here and there everywhere and in this interview that he did with kamala harris on cnn i cannot tell if this is the most egregious brain fart i've ever seen in my life or he's just slipping up and telling us the truth but before we get into that my name is greg foreman and you're watching a black concerted perspective make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black concerted perspective aka a leftist worst nightmare you can also follow me on twitter at gforman bcp let's get it all right guys take a look at this uh segment of joe biden and kamala harris doing an interview on cnn in which joe biden's brain just melts it seems but all kidding aside, the first lady to be told me she holds them for you. Yes, she does. But not with she's because she's she and yeah, Kamala have become right friends. Yeah. But all kidding aside, it's it's a matter of the thing. We are simpatico on our philosophy of government and simpatico on how we want to attach approach these issues that we're facing. And so I don't have. And when we disagree, it'll be just like so far. It's been just like when Barack and I did. It's in private. She'll say, I think we should do A, B, C or D. And I'll say, I don't I like A, don't like B and C. Mm -hmm. And let's go, OK. But and I like I told Barack, if 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 I reach something where there's a, a fundamental disagreement we have based on a moral principle, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll I'll develop some disease and say I have to resign. I'll develop some disease and say I have to resign. I'll develop some disease and say I have to resign. Um, we, we don't have that. I'm a, we haven't. And we discussed at length mm -hmm. our views on foreign policy, on domestic policy, on intelligence. And the great thing is she has a background in the Senate on intelligence, the Intelligence Committee. She has a background in the Senate on a whole range of things that are going to be pertinent to what we have to do. Can you believe that, guys? Just in case you didn't pick it up. He said, quote, like I told Barack, if I reach something where there is a fundamental disagreement, we have based on a moral principle i'll develop some disease and say i have to resign <laughs> okay like like i told you guys he's either losing it or he's telling us the truth because we all know that that's been the plan the whole time <laughs> nobody expects joe biden to like mentally make it all the way through this presidency. No way, no how. He's too old. So him saying this is basically telling us the future. Joe Biden will develop some disease like, you know, dementia or Alzheimer's or something like that. He'll resign and then Kamala's going to be president. And if you guys notice, after he's saying that, Kamala is looking at him like, no, Joe. You slipping, Joe. You slipping, Joe. No, Joe. Don't say that, Joe. You out of control, Joe. You saying too much, Joe. What you doing, Joe? What you doing? That's Kamala. <laughs> and then he got he starts to get back on track. She's like, yes, Joe. Yeah, Joe. You on track now, Joe. You on track now, Joe. You can tell, bro. K Kamala Harris <laughs> has to be Joe Biden's handler. She has to be his handler. She is. She got this man on a leash. <laughs> Okay, and I don't know what other evidence you need than just her reaction to what this man was saying in the interview. She look, she's looking at him like she's his mother, and you know he's a child that is talking too much and is not saying what he's supposed to be saying. That's that's the way she's looking at him. Can y'all believe this is the same guy that broke his foot trying to grab his dog's tail after he got out of the shower? I mean, seriously, dude got in a shower and went up to his dog, tried to grab his tail. Was like, let me get a little sniff. No, oh, God. And just fail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you 
You can't make this stuff up, man. This man is a clown. He is a clown. So I went to see if mainstream media covered this interview at all. And what did they say? And lo and behold, CNN <laughs> has a headline that says, no fake news. Biden and Harris sit down for a, quote, very normal interview with Jake Tapper. And this is by Brian Stelter here at CNN Business. And all it is, is just a glowing, glowing, glowing article about how normal this is. It's all great. There's nothing not normal about Joe Biden saying that he's going to get a disease and resign. <laughs> There's nothing that is sketchy about that. There's nothing that's not normal about that. According to <laughs> Communist News Network, a.k.a. CNN, I don't understand. Apparently, after this, Jake Tapper had spoke with Don Lemon, and apparently Don Lemon said, quote, It feels like we were watching a president-elect and a president who are on Earth 1 and Earth 2. And at this particular Earth, that is in reality, it is very normal, very sedate. It, it was welcoming news. It was good to watch. It was good to actually get content. We heard no fake news. We heard no conspiracy theories. We heard no personal grievances. We heard a president-elect and a vice president who want to work with the other side. Bruh. Come on, man. You're not doing your jobs. You're not doing your jobs. Why is what Biden just said not being questioned? Right? I mean, you either need to question his mental capabilities or what he actually mean when he said that if you're not assuming that it was a brain fart. Okay? You, you should have asked a question about it. And this is the problem with the mainstream media when you try to tell people that, listen, this election may have not been fair. There's multiple levels to this, right? It's also how the media covers the other candidates up until the election. That's also a part of it. Because we've seen, I don't know if you guys heard about it, but there was a report that MSNBC had blacklisted certain candidates in the Democratic primary. And this is what the establishment does when they don't like you and they don't want you to win. That's what they do. They'll blacklist you from the media. And if the media likes you, then they do little fluff pieces like this and they don't ask you any questions. They don't care what you say. They just make everything seem like you're the best person ever. You're the next coming of Jesus as president. That's what the media does when they like you. And, and this is how the media sways elections. I mean, we've seen it happen on multiple levels. So, <sighs> y'all let me know, man. Was this a brain fart or a Freudian? Was this a brain fart or a Freudian slip? It was either one or the other. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.